Hey guys, Troy Legacy RV Center. We are down here in sunny Salt Lake City today. It's a little bit cold out here, but we are gonna warm your hearts with what, what we have today. So we got the brand new 2021 Riverstone 39 RKFB. It's their most popular floor plan. And you guys are probably super excited to come on inside and see all the cool things about it. Come on in here. All right, guys, what do you think? Isn't this pretty? 2021 Riverstone. And I'm gonna tell you a couple really cool things about this trailer, and then we're gonna go look at all the cool stuff. So, so the nice thing about the Riverstone, it's like the Rolls Royce of fifth wheels. And when they came out with the Rolls Royce of fifth wheels, they decided to do a lot of things different. They found out that there's not a lot of people or a lot of dealers, manufacturers that build really high-end stuff at affordable prices. So that's how the Riverstone was born. So cool thing on this is, so, so this actually comes with a three inch wall. Most of these manufacturers just do a two inch wall, but it'll give you a lot better insulation. Plus it'll be a lot quieter if you're in a noisy campground. I wanna show you some really cool things about this. So storage is a big, big deal for these guys. Now we're gonna talk about the fridge. So this is actually a smart fridge. So you may ask yourself, what do you mean by a smart fridge? Watch this. What's two times two? Four. See, how cool is that, right? So all joking aside, so I wanna tell you how cool this fridge really is. So, so they came out with the residential R uh, fridges in RVs probably about 10 years ago. And when they first came out with them, they were a great big hit because they had tons of storage in there. But after people started to realize that they weren't very efficient and they would zap your batteries, about six months later, you couldn't sell a trailer with a residential fridge. So Samsung actually went to work and they designed a smart fridge. So this is designed for an RV. It's triply insulated and, and uses minimal, minimal power. Next thing I want to talk about is the oven here. So they, they upgraded the ovens on these, so it's, it's more of a residential oven. And it literally is big enough to where you could put a turkey in there, cook a roast, maybe a grandkid or two. Could even be the husband. Next thing I want to talk about is your sink. So this is actually a two-wash uh, sink here, and it's nice and deep. You can actually get real dishes in here. So... The one thing that you're going to be a little bit mad about, though, is you're not going to have to wash dishes in here. And the reason you're not going to have to wash dishes in there is it actually has a washer, dishwasher. So how cool is that? Kind of simplify things. It's got a nice little uh, place to uh, throw all your trash right here. And the countertops on these, man, they're just a stunning, super nice countertop. I like how they've used actual real tile on the wall instead of just a wallpaper that looks like it. Kind of separates these guys from uh, other manufacturers. Just a really high-end look. All right, so this is a full convection oven. Also can be used as a microwave. It's kind of a two-in-one. Now we're gonna talk about some other cool things in this trailer. So you've got the nice table and chairs here. You can actually pull this out, add another leaf to it. And it does come with two extra chairs. So you can get have a nice little dinner around the, the table there. I want to talk about this a little bit because this actually, for all you people out that are probably watching this video or probably out enjoying uh, the world uh, working from your home. So, so this makes it to where like if you're, in, uh, if you're in the type of industry where you can make money off the internet, you've got all this right here all set up ready to go. So if you don't want the table, you can substitute the table or the, the desk for another couch right here. We do about 50-50 of each. So on your chairs here, so you've got massage, heat on these two right here. This is actually a really nice couch that you can pull out to a nice bed in case you have anybody uh, sleeping over and need to have a place for them to sit. So this has got the home, uh, home theater, it's the ultimate electronics package. 
And basically what that is, you get the nicer TV, you get all the surround sound speakers and their speakers up in the actual ceiling as well. And then you've got this nice little fireplace. It's an electric fireplace, but it puts out a really cool look to uh, kind of set some mood in here. But the most important thing on it is it's actually got a function. And basically that function is that it's got a pretty good size BTU uh, heater in it. So if you guys are like in some really cold temperatures and you don't want to run all your propane out and you're hooked on into uh, shore power, might as well use as much of your electricity as you possibly can to keep this nice and warm. So three, so this has also whisper quiet uh, ACs. So it's got three of them. So it's also equipped with the power management system. So you can run everything without blowing fuses or uh, uh, blowing breakers. So then you've got the really cool in infinity light up there, which uh, I beamed myself up into other trailers beforehand. Okay, I'm kidding, I didn't, but come on back here. Let's look in the bathroom. So everything in this trailer is super well thought out and functional. So you got your bathroom right here. Look how cool that looks right there with the mirror. That just kind of sets the whole tone off. So then you've also got washer and dryer. So the thing I like about having the washer and dryer down here is it doesn't put as much weight in the fifth wall part of the trailer so that when you're towing it down the road, you're gonna feel the weight of the washer and dryer. So it's got a clothes hamper right here. So from the bedroom, and you'll see this in just a second. So you can literally put all your clothes right here Come in, take them out, put them in the washer dryer. Super cool function. Got the uh, high powered uh, fantastic fan so that uh, if everything gets kind of stinky in here, if you know what I mean, on the second half bath, you can literally get a really high power vent that'll blow all that out. Let me show you the bedroom a little bit. So you've got tons and tons of storage here. And there are a couple of different options available on this. So. <clears throat> So they used to make the fireplace standard right here and they found out that a lot of people would rather have the storage in here as well. So it, the way we've ordered this one, it just has the drawer or the cabinets. So you got your TV right here, emergency window right there. And if you uh, scan over here, so here's your solar. So you can watch your battery banks while you're laying in bed, USB hookups, wherever they can put them. And then they also give you a really nice, comfortable mattress. I mean, gosh dang, that, that is probably one of the nicest mattresses I've seen in an RV before, because usually the, the manufacturers won't spend a ton of money on that part. <clears throat> Come on into the bathroom. So the bathroom, I feel like, is the best part of this trailer. And the reason I feel like it, be, uh, because it's nice and spacious. A lot of times when you're in an RV, uh, the bathroom's really like the small area and you're kind of cramped in here. But this is nice and spacious. You've got the two sinks. Again, they've done the really nice mirror here with the backlit light. Kind of gives it a really high uh, look to it. And then on this, uh, on this shower, so you can sit down and take a shower or you can put that up and just stand here and take a shower. But it's nice and roomy in here. You've got the nice skylight right here. So if you're a little bit taller, you've actually got a place to park your head. Just done really, really well. Then you've got more drawers right here. Okay, the wife's probably thinking, where am I gonna hang up all my clothes, right? My wife would be, so let me show you where. If you come in here, you got your own cedar lined walk-in closet so you can hang clothes right there you can come around you can you can hang more clothes here you've got little cubbies right there you've also got the uh dyson vacuum for quick little cleanups and then you've got your laundry basket in here so guys as you can see this there's a lot of trailer here and there's a lot of thoughts and and the riverstone Riverstone's like fine wine. They just keep getting better and better with time. So okay, guys, one last little quick thing. So here's your control panel. They've got it all laid out nice and neat. You can literally run everything off of this pad. 
Plus, you can also download the, the app on your phone. So like if you are out traveling around, you can run the whole trailer from your phone. Let's head outside and let me show you a couple cool things out here. All right, guys, let's talk about the outside. And th you guys know that this is the men's favorite part is the way it looks on the outside. So, so this is a super cool floor plan. I don't know if you guys ever watched the Diesel Brothers on the Discovery Channel, but uh, he has the same exact uh, uh, floor plan. A little bit different of a paint job, but full body paint. Uh, this has got some really, really cool features. So you've got your additional refrigerator out here. Look at all the storage in there as well. So you could, you could literally get a slide in tray if you don't want to climb in there all the time, or you can actually have your kids or grandkids or whoever, uh, you could probably set some mattresses in there and just sleep in there. Kidding, of course. Uh, right here, you've got your propane tanks, you've got dual tanks, and they're the biggest tanks that you can put in these. So come around to this side. I want to show you a little bit uh, of that front cap. That has got probably one of the sexiest caps I've ever seen on a trailer. Also have the air ride uh, suspension pin box. In here, if you wanted to do a generator, it's all pre-wired for a generator. Got the firebox already uh, built, ready to go for it. And then I want to show you something. Slam latch handles. That's that's a pretty uh, pretty cool deal. Over here, it's your battery compartment. Thing I like about these guys is they actually make it to where you can slide them in or out. A lot of these manufacturers put the batteries in some pretty awkward or places so that it really takes a lot of work to get in there and get to them. With these, you can just pull them out. They've also set this up to where you can put mul multiple battery banks in here. Come over here. So this is kind of your command center. And they've tried to make everything super, super easy on these. So they've got everything color coordinated, uh, coordinated for you. So like if you're gonna dry camp, you wanna fill your tank, city water, winterize, or sanitize. Now, wait a minute. Did you just hear that? Sanitize. So with the COVID virus this year, they've got a little more sensitive to sanitation. So they even have a uh, system on here where you can sanitize your whole uh, plumbing system, which I love. So all of your uh, gate valves for your black tank, uh, gray tank are on in the heated underbelly. Some of these manufacturers will put them down here and that's all fine and dandy, but that's gonna be froze before you even pull it out. Therefore, you can't really empty your system. So it's, a, it's really kind of a, a big deal to have those in the heated un and closed underbelly. So you've got auto level uh, on your jacks here. Kind of a cool thing about that is you can actually set it up for a couple of different trucks. So you know, who knows, you might have this have two trucks and uh, each time you tow with a different truck, you can set it up to where you can hit truck one, it'll set up exactly at the right height there. So moving over here, uh, they've got uh, easy access to all of your hydraulics. If you look at that, so you can check your fluids from here. Something I want to tell you guys about is the manifold system on this. So this has got a really high-end plumbing system in it. It's something that you usually don't see until you go into like, you know, four or $500,000 motorhomes, but basically it's a manifold. And the advantage to a manifold is, so if you uh, spring a leak somewhere and you don't want to shut down the whole plumbing system, you can just come out here turn that one part off, still use the whole trailer till you can get the leak fixed. The other thing is, if somebody's washing their hands in the sink and somebody's in the shower and somebody flushes the toilet all at the same time, you're not gonna notice any pressure difference and you're not gonna all of a sudden get a burst of hot water into the shower. So that's a, that's a pretty neat little uh, uh, thing that it's got here. Tons of storage, like I was telling you. One thing I want to bring up is how thick these compartment doors are. So a lot of manufacturers will put a really thinly insulated compartment door. And the reason they do that is to save cost. 
But where this is an all season trailer, they're trying to take that all season all the way. So again, super cool deal. Side cameras, got front camera, side camera, back camera, and then you've got the camera that shoots down uh, uh, when you're coming up to the uh, front door there. Let's talk about the hot water, so uh, hot water heater. So this has actually got the aqua hot. So insta hot basically, uh, you'll never run out of hot water. Super, super nice system there. Furnace here. They've made it really easy down here to hook your uh, sewer pipe up and they even put a nice place to store the hose. The thing I like, if you look at this, this is a good, good heavy duty setup right here for your hose. What, which is kind of a big deal to me as well because I this is the part I hate to do. So they've tried to make it super easy for you. Like saying, store, uh, store, still the whole hose right there. So let's move over here just a little bit if I don't fall over. Windows. So these have the seamless, frameless windows, which are not only a high end looking window, but they are a high end window. I don't know if you know, so, so seamless, frameless, you don't have to do anything to them. So you don't have to check the sills around them. So place for. Remember when we were inside and I showed you this from the outside? Basically, you just take this off here, put all your trash, and then you could pick it up out here. Let's talk about the reel. So this is actually uh, got the power reel. Makes it super, super easy to pull in and take down. And that's, that's, that's a pretty neat little feature because that's a thick heavy cord so then we've got just a little more storage back here maybe even store a grandkid or maybe grandma in there just kidding okay it's got a full fiberglass cap and that's that that that's something that kind of gives it a really high-end look but it's also got a uh, function as well so a lot of these manufacturers will just do a hung fiberglass wall that, uh, back here. And eventually it'll start to delaminate or it'll actually start to leak. The thing about this full fiberglass cap is it wraps up over your roof and down underneath. So you'll never have a leak with this and you'll never have it delam on you. So nice feature. Then you've also got your ladder to go up to the roof. It's got a fully walk on roof. So on your awning covers, so I don't know if you noticed, but we had awning covers uh, over all the slides and they actually have a metal casing so that they won't, uh, so that they won't uh, wear out on you. A lot, a lot of times these are gonna be in and the sun's gonna hit them and that metal frame actually protects the awning inside. So awnings on both these power awnings, so they've got little shocks on them. It makes it to where you can take up to a 20 knot wind. Remember inside we were talking about the home theater system, the ultimate electronic package. So these are part of the speakers. Got a nice TV out here so you can sit out here, watch TV while you're uh, having fun and underneath your awning. Four coats of clear coat on this. And I'm telling you folks, this is, this is literally the Rolls Royce of Fifth Wells. Come on down to Legacy RV Center. First off, I want you guys to hit uh, subscribe for us and then I, I wanna hear all your comments. So what we did right, what we did wrong and how many of them you wanna buy. So we have a buy 10, get one free. We wanna give everybody a free trailer. So thank you so much again. We are in Salt Lake City, Utah, Legacy RV Center and I'm Troy Bradley.